It seems like at the first of a brand new year, we have priorities that we want to accomplish. And those priorities are important. C.S. Lewis has said the moment you wake up each morning, all your wishes and hopes for the day rush in like wild animals. And the first job each morning consists in shoveling it all back, in listening instead to that other voice, taking that other point of view, letting that other larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in. In Matthew 6, verse 33, the Bible says, Seek first God's kingdom and what God wants, and then all your other needs will be met as well. Have you asked God to prioritize your life? Well, once I learn to say it, I'll be able to do it. And I pray that I'll be able to do it in 2014. Have you asked God for guidance and the courage to do the things you know need to be done? Well, if you do, then you'll not only be keeping your checklist in check, but also you'll be inviting God to reveal guidance in various ways as you go about your day, as you go about living your year. When you make God a full partner, you know that's something I talk about a lot. In every aspect of your life, God will lead you along the proper path, God's path. And God will reign in your heart, and God will shower you with spiritual blessings, my friend, that are too numerous to count, too amazing to anticipate. As you plan for the year ahead, let God prompt your priorities. It is the surest way to have everything you need to get through your day and your life. We pray right now, God, take over the priorities in my life. Show me the things that are important. Help me not to put off till tomorrow the things that are important for a satisfied, wonderful life that is filled with meaning and purpose. God, lead my mind every morning. Show me the way to go. Show me the things that I should be doing. In Jesus Christ's name. We pray, amen.